Welcome to Beyond Abuse channel and today I wanted to talk with you about shame. And shame is a deep feeling, not of guilt for what was done that was wrong, that could have been done differently, but it's shame for who you are as a person. It feels like if you did something that you feel guilty about, you feel like you're broken and there's something wrong with you. You're feeling less than the person who is shaming you. It's a form of punishment when someone is shaming you. And when it comes to shame, it gives the person who is trying to control an advantage over you. Because remember, if someone is shaming you, they're now on the top and you're down here because they're pushing you down. And typically, if you have a relationship and there are two people who something went wrong with, one person discusses with the other person. And oftentimes in a relationship, there are things that are just misunderstandings. But in an abusive relationship, it doesn't matter the intention behind it. All that matters is that the abuser decides it's time for you to be punished for something else you did prior, as this is an excuse, or it might be that you have disappointed them, they're embarrassed. Remember, you're an extension of them. And so whatever you do becomes about them. And so they will shame you into just being yourself. And when we feel like we are shamed, it's as if there's a part of us that is just wrong at the core. And it's something that then filters into everything else because it's like a new part of us has been closed off. And so now everything looks through that filter of shame, of everything we do, the doubt, the confusion, the worry, the anxiety, because we have been told even if our intention was pure and what we were doing, it had nothing to do with punishment or anger or whatever it might have been. The intention was not to cause a problem. It was not to hurt anyone. So now you don't know what to do because if you had that intention to begin with, you just don't do it. You're like, oh, okay, yep, yeah, that was wrong. I won't do that again. But when it's this shame is thrown at you, and it's not really attached to anything tangible that makes sense not to do it again. So you're unsure of what you do and whether it will be accepted or it won't be accepted because it was illogical. So the shame that is coming at us is actually not even about us. It's about shame in themselves and the need to have this facade in the narcissistic mind that they need everything to be perfect. And when you're not falling in that mold of an extension of them to play the role that they want you to play, then the shame and the anger comes out at you. And one of the ways they can do it is they can berate you. They can give you a, a look. The reaction can be that they're giving you the silent treatment. That can go on for a day. It could go on for a week. It could go on for however long they decide that you are not worthy of being seen. It's as if they just erased you from their world. There is no such thing as unconditional love. So they withdraw love. So now all of a sudden, you're not loved because you are being shamed right now. So there are many different ways that the punishment comes in. But shame and the punishment do not equate to the action. So the reaction to whatever happened the misunderstanding, the difference of opinion, the being an individual is not allowed because you need to be an extension of them and what they want and how they want it and how they want you to be. So it could be as simple as where something's placed, where something goes, that you change something that they didn't want changed, you move something they didn't want moved. It could be the smallest of things or it could have something that has nothing to do with them. It has to do with 
you're improving yourself and they don't want that either. So they're going to shame you. They may be the only person that's going to find something negative about what it is you're doing. That will be their punishment towards you. So there becomes this very high confusion rate over what I do because no matter what I do, I don't know what the reaction will be. So it's like you're walking into a land field, a landmine, and you don't know when you step, where you step, what will happen. So that lens that the shame leaves us with and that punishment is a future reaction to anything that you do in the future. It leaves you really uncertain, confused. You don't know if I do this, if I do that, if I do this, or what if I do that? No, like the land mine, like if I step here, it's going to go off. If I step over here, maybe it won't go off. Maybe I keep stopping in the in this area and I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. But wait a minute, it's been a while. So these are the kind of tapes that will roll in your head in regards to that shame because it stays with us like a label. It's something that, like an extra baggage. But we can choose not to carry it any longer. And had we known before we were conditioned that shame was something that was inherently wrong with us, we can learn to let go of that baggage of shame and not carry it anymore because it wasn't ours to begin with. Remember the narcissistic person is carrying a lot of shame and a lot of anger, a lot of resentment. They don't want to show it outwardly to the world, so they will unleash it onto their main supply. Main supply being the person that they choose as the main person that they're going to gain their leverage from. They're going to suck all that they can get from you And in turn, they want to keep the power over you at all times because they need to have one place that they know they can return back to, to allow that to happen. The outside world needs to look like they have the perfect life and you need to make sure that it looks that way outside in the world, as well as in the home or at work, if it is an abuser that's at work. So Hopefully some of this shaming awareness and understanding that we need to separate and recognize when we have some shame, where did that first come from? And did we really deserve it for the action, the reaction didn't correlate? It didn't make sense. It was way over the top. And only we knew our intentions. And if our intentions were pure and the other person can't accept that, that's on them, not on us. We can do it differently. We can have compassion and feel bad for the situation. But shaming, accepting the shame doesn't change the situation that happened. What was done doesn't change any of that. The only reason to do it is to gain power and control and to feel better and superior to the person that you're trying to have control over. So I hope that this information in regards to shame helps you to shed a little bit of that shame. Awareness is power. We want to be able to disarm our abuser so that our abusers cannot continue to abuse. They need the tools to be able to do what they do. And when we unlock and uncover the tools they use, they become useless because we recognize exactly what it is. That is shame. I'm not accepting it. Thank you again for tuning in to Beyond Abuse. I look forward to seeing you again next time. And until then, I believe in you. I want you to believe in you too.